When I was young, I was once in love with a man, and the day he got married and had a child, a part of my soul committed suicide. And it had to, so that the rest of me could live. It was an act of mercy. My devotion for this man had turned into a disease. It was destroying me. It's not easy to kill parts of ourselves or to kill parts of our bodies, but we do to survive. And the most tender part of my girlhood who loved him with my whole being willingly took its last breath and died. And the stronger part of my womanhood who loved myself took her first breath and began to live. Several years later, that man contacted me while he was still married with a child. And I told him to F off. And then I immediately sat down and asked God to forgive me because <laughs> I'm thinking, okay, Christians are not supposed to cuss at people. <clears throat> I remember I was sitting in my garden and I felt God looking at me and I felt him cupping my face with his hands. And he said to me, Vicki, I'm a woman. For the first time in your life, you love yourself more than you love a man. Congratulations for telling that man to F off. That pain caused a sword within me to rise. Do you remember the pain you felt when you were injured or betrayed or violated? That was the sword within you rising. The sword that the angel Gabriel told Mary would pierce her soul. That is your warriorhood, your womanhood, your manhood and your dignity. And like Mary, you have to wield it. You cannot deny it. Become that phoenix. You must learn this hard lesson of being a survivor. That the love you have for someone else will always be sacrificed for the greater love you have for yourself and for the God within you. And when you do that, you pay the price. You win your power and then you have your wings. Never apologize for transforming. Never bow down when you are meant to rise. Whoever and whatever injured you or killed a part of you is just the process. You're the prize.